Setting up your own mail server has never been this easy. Welcome back to our channel. Today we'll walk you through setting up a mail server on Ubuntu 22.04 with Mataboa. Mataboa is an open source mail hosting and management platform built using Python. It's designed to help system administrators and service providers manage mailboxes, virtual domains, and aliases. It integrates with well-known software such as Postfix and Devcot to provide a comprehensive solution for email service. It's a popular alternative to other mail server management platforms because of its ease of use, open source nature, and capability to integrate with other well-known mail server software. If you're considering setting up a mail server, Mataboa can be a good starting point, especially if you're working within the Linux environment. To establish a full-fledged email server using Mataboa, ensure your server has a minimum of 3 GB RAM, as post-installation usage will exceed 2 GB of RAM, and I recommend Contabo. Their cheapest VPS has 4 GB of RAM and it is only $4, but I recommend the 8 GB and more. Unlike other providers who block port 25, Contabo allows unlimited transactional emails and newsletters, eliminating the need for paid SMTP relay services. Contabo has no SMTP restrictions. If you are on a Windows machine you can use a tool like PuTTY to connect to your VPS machine. Since I'm on a Linux machine I will just use the terminal. After you purchase your VPS connect to it. The link to Contabo is in the video description. Let's get started by ensuring our system is up to date. Before we proceed you have to make sure you have a domain name. If not you can purchase one from Namecheap or any other domain name provider. The prices are reasonable and who is privacy protection is free unlike other providers. For new customers there is even a coupon you can use that will even lower the price further. I already have a domain with Namecheap that I bought earlier. It's crucial to have a domain pointed to your server. Ensure you have a records for your domain and MX record pointing to your mail server. This allows others to locate your mail server and deliver email. This is the IP address of my Contabo server. Let us now create an MX record. A mail exchange record is a type of DNS domain name system record used to specify which mail server is responsible for receiving email messages on behalf of a domain. When an email is sent to a particular domain, the sending mail server will query the DNS records for that domain to find the appropriate MX record. The MX record then directs the email to the specified mail server. You can give it a priority of 10 the lower the number the better. Since we only have one email server it doesn't matter what priority we give it. Also, create in a record for the mail server. And a record, or address record, is a type of DNS record that maps a domain name directly to an IP version 4 address. This means when someone tries to visit or access the domain, the DNS system will tell them to go to the IP address associated with that domain through its a record. Let us get back to the terminal and run this command. Mataboa is coded in Python. Execute the command below to install the required Python components. The command installs the virtual environment tool for Python 3 and the package installer for Python 3. Let us now download Mataboa from GitHub. The command will copy the contents of the Mataboa installer repository from GitHub into the directory specified. You can then navigate into this directory to interact with the content and run the installer. 
change the directory to the Mataboa installer directory by running this command. Create a configuration file by running this command. This command checks the configuration for the domain to ensure it's correctly set up or suitable for Mataboa installation. If Mot found it will create one. Add your domain name at the end of the command. When you run this command, you'll be brought into the nano editing environment where you can make changes to the configuration file. To secure your mail server with a valid TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt, navigate to the certificate section and switch the type value from self signed to Let's Encrypt. Also change the email address to a valid address. By default, the Mataboa installer sets up the PostgreSQL database server. To use the MariaDB database server instead, modify the engine value from Postgres to MySQL. Press Ctrl then the letter O to save the file. Then press Enter to confirm. Set a host name for your server by running this command. If your domain is new and you have just added the DNS records, you can use a tool like this one to check if the DNS records have propagated across the internet. DNS propagation refers to the time it takes for updates to a domain's DNS records to be distributed and updated across DNS servers worldwide. When you make changes to your domain's DNS settings like changing IP addresses, adding subdomains, or changing mail server settings, these updates don't take effect instantly everywhere. Instead, the new information must be spread or propagated across the internet. If the DNS records have propagated across the internet run this command. This command will start the installation process for Mataboa on the domain and it will prompt you for specific configurations or decisions during the installation. If the command fails, you can use the debug option to see the errors. After you fix the errors if they were any you can run the command again. Once Mataboa completes its installation, you can access the admin panel using the username admin and the password password. The URL to access is shown in the terminal. You can change the default password after you log in. Go to the admin profile. You can change the password from there. You can also enable two-factor authentication for added security. You can add your main domain under the domain tab. Make sure to enable DKIM signing. For the key length select 2048.
Postmaster is a standard mailbox that's mandated by the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol SMTP, according to the Internet Standards RFC 5321. Every domain that accepts email must accept email for the postmaster address, even if there isn't a real mailbox associated with it. You can now add email addresses or email accounts for your users or yourself. The account has now been created you can start sending and receiving emails. Let us now log into the newly created account and try sending and receiving emails. Click on webmail and send a test email to see if the email server is working properly. I did compose an email and tried sending but it failed. If you can't send an email try checking if port 25 is open. Luckily if you're using a Contabo VPS, port 25 is open it is not blocked. So on my system it was not port 25 that was the problem, so I had to check the logs. The problem I have is that the policy daemon isn't running, so I have to disable it. I tried restarting it but still it was not working. I checked if it was listening on port 9999. But it was not, so let me now disable it in postfix. After disabling save the file and exit. Restart postfix by running this command. Let us now try sending and receiving test emails. Let us check the Gmail account and see if the email was received. As you can see the email was received which means we are able to send emails. Now let us see if we are able to receive emails on the account we created earlier. Everything is working just fine we are also able to receive emails. You can also use mail clients like Outlook or Thunderbird to connect to your server. In most cases the clients will connect automatically no need for manual configurations. Improving email deliverability is crucial for ensuring that your emails reach their intended recipients without being flagged as spam or being bounced back. One of the tools you can use to improve deliverability is the SPF Sender Policy Framework Record. The SPF record is a type of DNS record that identifies which mail servers are authorized to send email on behalf of your domain. By implementing an SPF record, you can prevent spammers from sending unauthorized emails using your domain. Alongside SPF, consider also implementing other email authentication methods like DKIM Domain Keys Identified Mail and DMARC Domain-Based Message Authentication, reporting and conformance for better email security and deliverability. For more details about these records check the article we have linked to in the video description. Testing your email score and placement is vital to understanding how email providers view your messages and whether they're likely to land in the recipient's inbox spam folder, or get blocked altogether. Understanding and improving your email score can significantly impact the success of your email campaigns. Here's how you can test and understand your email score and placement.
I have gotten a lower number because most of my DNS records have not yet propagated to the internet. You should also look at the suggestions below the site so you can improve your score. Make sure to get a 10 over 10 score. And there you have it, your very own mail server using Mataboa on Ubuntu 22.04. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share, and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below. And check our article for more details on how to configure a mail server.